there, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Lemon Cool. It's 2014, it's February, it's almost Valentine's Day, and Valentine's Day is the release of the next Plugin Guru library. Perfect timing for a library called Rotten Razor to be released on Valentine's Day. So I thought, so there you go. Rotten Razor is currently at 104 patches uh, for Razor, and Razor is an ensemble that you buy from Native Instruments that works inside of either the full version of Reactor 5 or the free Reactor player. And it gives you an incredible synth that sounds like nothing else. And I've made one library called Evil Razor already for it. So Rotten Razor is the second library I've made for Razor. Now Evil Razor comes with a video tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be including a video tutorial with Rotten Razor. Uh, instead, Evil Razor had like 83 patches and a video. Rotten Razor has 105, maybe more patches, no video. But I'm going to do this video and two more videos are planned for this library in support of it that will be free to watch through YouTube and be linked to my website. Um, this video goes through the patches. I have another video that's going to go through the demos. I've written some kind of cool demos and um, I want to show you how I'm using the, the ensemble and how I'm using my patches. So it gives you some clues and ideas on how to use the patches that maybe you haven't thought about. And it will also show off Mega Macho Drums because I used only Mega Macho Drums and Rotten Razor patches for these demos. And they came out really, really cool. So I'm really happy with that. There's one more video that I'm going to make that will be for mainly for people that have the full version of Reactor because I will talk about the interface. Um, there's a couple things that have changed. Um, in, in the earlier version with the Evil Razor video, there was no edit button needed to get into like editing snapshot files and stuff. Now you have to hit right here to go into an edit mode. Please wait. There. And once you're in an edit mode, now you can go over here and you can see the edit button for new banks and clone banks. And this is where you go for the basics of building snapshot files. There's other things that we'll talk about and show you um, in that video. But this one's all about the patches. Now, before we get to the patches, this video is, of course, sponsored by my website, PluginGuru.com. And here's the products. There's no tab yet for <laughs> Rotten Razor. I have to make that still. But as you can see, Omnipulse, Omniverse 1 and Omniverse 2 have been great successes for Omnisphere. Mega Macho Drums, people are flipping out over the power that Mega Macho Drums has. It's really, really awesome that people love it so much. Um, oh, and my Facebook page. Make sure you go to uh, the Facebook page and follow along there. Um, so I have a little bit of a cold, so my voice is a little raspy. I'm using a new microphone, uh, AKG 214, which is really nice. I like it very much. Highly recommended. Uh, I've changed the room around, as you can see, a little bit because now we're using the desktop computer because I've replaced it. I now have a six core 3.5 gigahertz Mac Pro tower. It's great. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, there's a new version of the init patch. By the way, if you play and if you have Evil Razor, the init patch in here, I have to apologize. Spectral clipping should be off because if you hear, it killed the high end. And I didn't plan for it to be saved that way. I think I'll go fix that. So if after February 14th, if you buy Evil Razor, that will be fixed. <laughs> I'll fix that in that library because it shouldn't come that way. But if before that, turn that off before you start making patches. You'll, you'll get a little bit more brightness and a little bit more presence out of the sounds. So Rotten Razor has a modified, updated patch for the initialized state. I'm not going to try to go into the synthesis or any of that stuff here. We're just playing patches. So here we go. Here's some of the bases. These all have the mod wheel set up to do radically cool things. So like, there's a couple patches in here with SN. I have one program I've been working with named Seth Norman here in Portland. And he has made some nice patches and done the, some of the kits and some of the patterns for Mega Macho Drums. He's the only person at this point that I have asked to contribute patches to the libraries that I make. Everything is mine except for the stuff with SN on it. And there's like five in here. And they're really cool. Here's one of them, Bile Monster. Got a 
cool tone. Dark Poison is a like the whole breakage kind of subtone, deep sub bass. And if you bring up the module, you get like this kind of like weird cello ensemble. It goes away when you bring the module down, so it's kind of cool. Uh, Dino Burp, another Seth patch. Just killer. Uh, regurgitate. Rotten P Funk. Stuff like that. Satoof. Solid mono. So you move the mod wheel to get alternations. Uh, squares. And a square minto. Which sounds great uh, with drums. Let's get this going just for a second. Still ringing. <laughs> so one of the unique things with Razor, I will say this, is that you have the ability to assign modulation sources by clicking on these dash marks. And here's all your available sources. And aside from Omnisphere, there's a couple of new things like Spire and so forth that are starting to do more of this. Um, but you have the ability to assign like the mix of the reverb and the decay time of the reverb and other parameters of these limited effects that it has to mod wheels and to velocity and so forth. So it allows you to come up with some really cool, fun things like this. Um, a couple of these patches do that. This is another one where it's uh, nice. This is the Bell type patch, 8-bit Dreamer. And what's fun is when you bring up the mod wheel, The other thing that's unique with Razor, that reverb you hear is not an effect. It's actually created by the oscillators. And I know that because I can take and I can pitch bend the reverb. And you can't do that. <laughs> Try that with any reverb that you call up as an effect. Can't do it. So it's very unique. Uh, Dark Veil is another pale, pale patch. This is the bell patch I use in the middle of the down tempo demo, where it goes from the uh, uh, and I bring up using the mod wheel to do that, and then I had reverb and delay on the sound, so it takes off and goes everywhere. It's awesome. Then we get to the BPM stuff. This is really cool. This is the twelfth twins. These are a twelfth beat. So you, if you uh, have a pattern playing. <laughs> Hopefully that's rotten enough. And if not, this is worse. The raw. <laughs> okay, some other ones.
uh, Evil Cauldron. Now these you're going to start seeing uh, some of these where they have timing values. Half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note. Let's play the groove. <clears throat> this should be dubstep. So let's go over here and come here. So let's change kits to dubstep. Let's go over here and say kits. Has a built-in MIDI player for playing grooves. That's really awesome. So we come down here and say play. Speed it up. Okay, now we go back. Here's Cauldron. To get the idea it actually each one has a different vibe to it for different kind of styles of some of the dubstep stuff you might like uh complex data now this is where we're starting to use uh the reverb is set up with a very, very short decay. So it becomes more like a chorusy type of an effect. So as I bring up the, the strings of it on the mod wheel, the stereo image gets super wide. So it's really fun to... Here's chordal. If you play legato, it won't re-trigger. Play legato, it will. So. Okay, rough squealers. Square to be wobbling. This one, I, I decided not to have it follow tempo because if you set it to tempo for the LFO, it re-triggers every time, which I didn't like. I wanted a Patrick to be playing it. So it, 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 it kind of works to tempo. You might have to play with the speed of LFO 1 on this. This is another one where as Modwell goes up you get this cool reverb. It's kind of a trademark of this library. I, I kind of try to find things that are unique for each library I make. And one thing I definitely wanted to do more of was having the mod wheel be able to do this because it's a cool trick to be able to go and have that hit and take off and go somewhere else, you know. All from the same patch without needing anything else except Razor. So that's kind of the signature, one of the signature things for this ugly destiny. <laughs> It's rotten, man. Come on. Uh, here's Seth Patch, a uh, very grinder. Then we get to another one of these where we've got multiple times, so let's get a groove.
Oh, this one I have 30 seconds for fills. And when we get to the <clears throat> the dubstep demo that I did for this library, I, I used some cool techniques that I'll show you. So make sure you watch that video. I'm not going to talk about them now because spoil the video. Uh, Wobble Jetpack, one of my favorites. Love this one. So the eighth. Love that. So cool. Get top here. It works really well when you get to the eighth notes. Got that idea. And again, eighth note, thirty second notes, and drop. Okay, wobble punk. Now this one here I have the reverb coming up, but it's distorted, so it's just becomes this big wash. Up Chuck, <laughs> love coming up with names. This is supposed to be 120 techno kind of thing. And it's got a triplet feel to it, so if we added a techno groove, you'd hear it. It's really cool. Uh, leads. DX7 is sick. Spastic headshot. This sounds so good to the group, man. Yeah, that's rotten. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Cinema Tempest. I hope to hear this at the beginning of a lot of songs.
Okay, Cordell. That's cool. All in motion. I want to go from a synth sound to a drum groove, so... It's pretty cool. Crystal Cathedral. Dolly Dada. Another one that in a group is great. Just a really cool ambient. Cool for that kind of stuff. Evil in Church. This is one where you go from this sound. And if you go to the mod wheel. Go to church. fall back from grace. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, F bomb. Get a straight pitchy distorted evil thing. That's just rotten, rotten. Keep saying rotten over and over when you hear these. That's kind of the, the goal. Lose it. This is kind of the darker version. Quarter notes. Or eighth notes. Here's eighth, uh, eighth. That was quarter notes, I believe. And this eighth notes. That's used in one of the demo uh, songs. Uh, synth Woodpecker. Uh, Dark Moody EP, kind of cool. In fact, the uh, down tempo track. I first started with this piano, and it was too dark, so I modified it to make the uh, razor tine. So that sound comes from the dark version. 
The drawback to all of this is that the voices is locked at six voices. And if you have a very fast processor, you can change it to be more than six voices of polyphony. But be aware, for uh, most computers, very many more than six voices of polyphony kill the processors. So um, I'll, in, in the video where we do the single snapshot files, I'll, I'll show you how to change that. In fact, I think I showed you earlier. But most computers will choke. <laughs> Some of these, some of these patches will take down the computer almost with one note. So you know, when you play six of them, good luck. Uh, epic organ. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I showed you razor tine. Illegal air. <laughs> This is using the new Resonant Reverb, which is awesome. It came out in the last update. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Just patches. For two. Cat und Maus is a... use that in one of the demos the techno one migraine on the mod wheel this painful 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 uh uh pap to trap the short guy Seth made this, but it's really cool. When you bring the mod wheel up, that's pitchy G. That's because of what's called the side chain right here. Side chains where you are able to take two things and assign them to one modulation source. So modulation wheel and an envelope means that when it's assigned to pitch, when the modulation wheel's at zero, there's no pitchy G. As you bring up the mod wheel, it turns up and includes the pitchy G which gives you the and the pitchy G is coming from envelope two. So you go here to envelope two. Play with the attack and the decay times. Have a good time. That's how it works. Uh, razor blade wheel. Sochi Slama. Really cool. Cinemax falling. Love that. Hired Assassin. Another one we wanted to go from a sound to rhythmic drummy kind of stuff, so. So, uh, Lost Eternity. Okay, next up is Painful Decay. Hold the notes down. Just 
amazing. There's nothing else that can sound like that. There's nothing else that has the engine to pull off sounds like this. It's just incredible. Planetary Morph. Single notes down low. And you can choose tons of different Uh, there's a billion pads on the select knob and known. See how these are calling up different combinations and shapes to all of these 320 oscillators? It's just awesome. Incredible. Play with this in phase. In cycles. You're gone for days, man. Sorry, you'll be gone for days. All right, warm daydreams. Dark, dark, dark dreams. We slowly die. A uh, couple of guitars. It's in the guitars and pads where you wish you had a lot more voices of polyphony. Uh, here's um, some of the synth parts. There's a whole bunch of synth patches. I'm using echo. Check this out on the envelope too, so that um. Whatever rhythm you play, when you play a new note, that rhythm is carried into it because it's repeating that envelope, even on different pitches. Tricky. Tricky and fun to play with. Detuned. From Perky. Empire Trance is really fun. Another one where Echo is being used. Again, whatever tempo you play becomes the feedback over here for the delay. And if I bring the feedback up even higher, then it... It's shorter than it's, it has less of an effect. Epic Bright. Play like tenths, uh, open chords. Mega Zappy. Uh, rot drops. Here's this fast one. 
of slow. Yeah. Love that. Sell out. Snap to it. Stuff like that. Tons of cheese. On the mod wheel. There's 127 different organs type sounds. Total surveillance. Tweaker. From a single note to a chord. Unisonic. Way obliterated. Good way to end the library. So there you go. Rotten Razor. 100 plus patches for Razor. 30 bucks at PluginGuru.com. And uh, hope you like them. And uh, make sure you watch the other videos. I'll show you a few things in there I'm sure that you will enjoy learning about, I hope. Thank you again for your support. Very much appreciated. See you later.